up guys, Sal here. So the design of the Galaxy S11 has already been finalized. So that means the production lines are set, the testing of the handset is underway, and we could expect physical leaks of the device or its components. And that's exactly what we are getting today. The battery of the smallest model in the Galaxy S11 range has been leaked. The Galaxy S11e will have a much bigger battery than the Galaxy S10e which had a battery of 3100 mAh capacity. As you can see, this is an actual photo of the battery of the Galaxy S11e which was found on a Korean certification website. This is for sure the Galaxy S11e because the model number matches with the Galaxy S11e's model number. That being said, you can't really see the numbers since the image is blurred. But we can see the rated capacity which is 14.36 watt hours. Also we can see it operates at 3.85 volts. So doing the math, we get a rated battery capacity of 3730 milliamp hours. Now this is rated capacity. Typical capacity is the one we are gonna get. So that means the actual battery capacity of the S11e should be around 3900 milliamp hours, which is significantly bigger than the Galaxy S10e's 3100 milliamp hours capacity. One of the reasons there is an exponential increase is that the Galaxy S11 will either have a 90 hertz or 120 hertz display. That will draw more power and hence the need for a bigger battery. One more reason is 5G. Since it's still early days for 5G and the Galaxy S11 is set to come with 5G as standard, it surely requires a bigger battery than usual. Ice Universe believes the Galaxy S11 Plus may offer a battery capacity of almost 5000 mAh. For comparison, the Galaxy S10 Plus has a 4100 mAh battery. Since the S11 is getting such a big upgrade in the battery, then it's reasonable to expect the S11 Plus to offer a similar upgrade as well. Looking at the battery of the S11e, Samsung is using a square battery this time instead of the rectangular one used on the S10e. This means the design of the internal components on the S11 will be significantly different than on the S10. We still don't know why exactly Samsung wants to redesign the internal components, but we'll surely know in the days to come. Also, Samsung has trademarked space zoom for the Galaxy S11's camera. The S11 will have a 5x optical zoom that's better than the one we have on devices like the P30 Pro and some other Chinese phones. It will also have the 108 megapixel camera sensor as well. Now, I don't think Samsung has trademarked the space zoom just for the 5x optical zoom. I guess there's more to it. You see, Huawei trademark moon mode for the P30 Pro for taking pictures of the moon. Google trademark astrophotography photography mode for taking pictures of the starry night sky. So the space zoom should offer a similar experience and I'm positive it's more than just 5 times optical zoom. So what exactly is the meaning of the space zoom? Why is Samsung using a square battery instead of the rectangular one? Will the S11 Plus indeed have a 5000 mAh battery? Find out on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z.